day, they push us to be better. And you have to take what, what they're telling you and, and do the best with it and try to do what they're telling you to do because it's only going to help not only you as a player, but our team. That's what it, we're trying to get everybody to buy into. You know, what they're telling us is going to help the team. So now When you play at Gonzaga, every game in this league is the game of the year for that school. It's a big deal. You ready for that? Yeah, I think we're ready. But like you said, I mean, each game we play on the road is as tough as these neutral court ones we play against really big time opponents. And that's what I try to tell people that doubt our conference sometimes. Like, I mean, if you play in these games on the road at at St. Mary's, at those places, at Portland, those are really tough games to win. So, because I think you know, at Michigan State, seventeen thousand, you know. There's 17,000, but when you go at USF and now there's 5,000 right on top of you, kind of hanging over the top and looking down, it's different. It's different, but it's just as tough of a game. It is. Without a doubt. What do you like to do besides play basketball? Um, you what know. is there to do in Iowa besides play basketball? I mean, what's there to do in Washington besides basketball? <laughs> a lot right? of fishing, Grant. <laughs> a lot of fishing. A lot of fishing. I, I'm not a fisherman. That's yeah. not a hobby, but I don't know. Just normal college stuff, watch movies, and I'm a pretty avid poker player. Coach Jack has got me on that, yeah. so that's some hobby I've been doing. But I like to read a lot and just normal stuff. You hooked up yet? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what's how's the season end for you guys, Grant? I mean, what's a good year? You guys are off to a tremendous start already. Right. I mean, I think the goal of every season is you got to win a national championship. I think that's where it starts and ends. If you, I mean, sell yourself any short of that, if we just want to make a Sweet 16 or we just want to make the tournament, I think you sell yourself short of getting to that ultimate level and if we aim that high and we try to get that high then we just we end that much higher depending on where you know the season does end so yeah. you always got to shoot for the highest you can go are you one of the millions that are guilty of driving while talking on your cell phone and welcome back to the mark few show okay coach the season rolls on this week you go back on the road santa clara and usf uh, two teams you haven't seen yet no uh two teams we haven't seen yet uh, obviously uh, we're going to have to play better than we played here in this homestand to, mm -hmm. to be able to win on the road. We're going to have to play better defensively and uh, make a little bit of better decisions with the basketball. That we were, we were pretty efficient this weekend uh, uh, with the basketball. But uh, most of all, I mean, bottle up the energy and bottle up the toughness. You got to take that. That's the key to uh, winning on the road. You got to play good defense and take care of the basketball. And obviously for you, the battle continues, uh, coaches versus cancer. And yeah. We've got these Believe t-shirts. Uh, go to cbct.com to buy them. But 10 bucks, and I, you guys have raised over $4 million so far in counting, and now the effort is kind of growing 365 here for you guys. Yeah, it, it has, and, and it takes on a personal touch now. This is uh, Brian Michelson's wife, uh, Sarah, uh, came up with this idea. Uh, both her parents are, are suffering from cancer uh, uh, right now. So our goal is to to have everybody in the kennel against uh, Portland on uh, February 4th right. uh, wear this shirt. And uh, that'll send just a powerful, powerful message that, uh, uh, that you know, the fight continues. Yeah. And we're making a lot of strides there. I, I think uh, most people don't understand the strides uh, that we're making in the fight against cancer. And uh, But, you know, it just it continues to keep rolling and rolling. Yeah. So we got to keep preparing, like we talked yeah. about earlier yeah. on the show, to to fight uh, what's coming at us. And, and something like this uh, really helps. The Spokane community has just been awesome for uh, uh, Marcy and I's uh, uh, Coaches versus Cancer events. And, and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, people will continue to step up and, uh, and support it. Because this, this is a great idea and a, it is certainly a, idea. a great cause. CBCT.com, 10 bucks. Be part of the solution. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great week. We'll see you next week on the Mark Few Show. Cage in a team confidence early, I think, especially uh, uh, there in the mid part of the second or first half, and then uh, early in the second half, and, and some guys got rolling, and then you got a, you know, a tiger by the tail. Uh, we've been doing that a lot uh, uh, lately, and uh, either with turnovers, untimely turnovers, or you know, in the first half we missed a lot of free throws, and then uh, uh, did not do a good job uh, defending Dior Lohorn, and he got he. Got hot, even though he only made five or six or seven uh, threes, seven threes, I think, coming into it. And he really hurt us. And uh, the one thing I've noticed so far in West Coast Conference play, it seems like everybody's got that one player that can really hurt you. Pep had it, LMU had it, Santa Clara's had it, and we see it against USF. Yeah, I mean, I, I, they had a lot of guys that stepped up today.
gave Dior a, a kid off the bench, I think he's averaging two or three a game, he gets 11 on us. You, know, you, you, can't, you, you can't do that. I mean, and he's just shooting point blank shots. Uh, so our post defense was not good and our blockouts weren't good. And then, you know, we just did a bunch of little things right there at the end of the game that cost us. We've been pretty solid at the end of the game. We gave up uh, three offensive rebounds. We didn't block out on a free throw and got called for being out of bounds. Then they had two rebounds that, that went out of bounds off of us, and then we tried to save the ball under our own basket, which you just, you never do in basketball. So, uh, you know, uh, we've been really good in, in these end of game situations, but we weren't, uh, we weren't good uh, tonight. Six and one, you're still on top of the West Coast yeah. Conference standings, and so where do you, where do you go from there? I mean, you don't want an, a hangover effect with your guys. No, we guys. don't. And uh, you know, we we just got to get back home and come out, and we got to play with some energy and some fire, and not not let this thing linger. I think uh, you know we've done a nice job of that uh, uh, throughout this year. Uh, after every loss, we followed it up uh, with some good effort. So uh, hopefully, we can get back home. Uh, get our legs back under us and, and defend and rebound a little bit better and, and uh, tonight we did not uh, you know they were pressing and trapping and doing some things so we didn't have great flow uh, on the offensive end and, and uh, that affected us also. All right let's take a time out when we come back the Coeur d'Alene Casino fan question of the week stay with us. And welcome back to the Mark Few Show. Time now for a Coeur d'Alene Casino Fan Question of the Week. And Nancy from Boise, Idaho writes, uh, Coach, what can you tell us about the development of redshirt Sam Dower and David Stockton? And what can we expect from them next year and beyond? Well, uh, you know, obviously Sam, Sam could have played this year. Sam was physically ready to play this year. We felt we, with the way the bodies were stacking up, uh, uh, we didn't want to, you know, use him for you know a, a limited amount of minutes we didn't think we could get both him and kelly enough minutes uh, even though he was more than ready to uh, uh play he's coming along fine he's going to be a real good uh player at gonzaga he's got a nice soft touch uh, around the basket uh, good size he's getting better at protecting the rim and uh, having a good redshirt year, he's gotten a lot stronger because he's never really lifted. Uh, uh, David has a, 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 got a great feel for the game, uh, can really see things and understands basketball uh, very well. His, his shooting has uh, improved uh, since he's been with us. And, uh, you know, now, uh, the biggest thing he can do is continue to get stronger so he can handle, you know, uh, bodies on him because he's, he's quick enough and just the fact that he's got that feel for the game and knows how to play will, will serve him well uh, throughout his career. All right, let's take another time out. When we come back, we'll sit down with Jen Nyland, the young lady who keeps him healthy when we come back on the Mark Few Show. I think she just she cares so much about what she does and she, she takes the time to do it perfect every time. And especially for Rob, she'll make it even look nice, which is a bonus. Rob has to have it not only just comfort and protect his ankles, it has to look perfect too, and she does that. And time now for the U.S. Bank trivia question. What current West Coast Conference school has Gonzaga played the most since 1958-59? A Portland, B Pepperdine, C San Francisco, D San Diego. The answer when we come back. Now the answer to the U.S. Bank trivia question. What current West Coast Conference school has Gonzaga played the most since 1950?